right so it hasn't at all gone to plan and we have a real big problem with these brakes so they gotta come off good morning youtube land right today we're starting off this video in the shed because we're upgrading the brakes on your bow so yes this is what we have got so the plan is this is basically uh, an st170 conversion so reason being front discs are 300 mil instead of 280 and the rears go up from 250 to 280 so the front discs here you can see are not brand new they are what were on my st170 um, they weren't used too much i just need a good clean up we're going to be using ferodo ds 3000 pads which uh, got loads of life left in them left over from before the calipers i've cleaned up and i have got a full refurb kit to go on and i got that from godspeed brakes which is local to me also that's where i get my discs from the godspeed um jayhawk discs and the rears are brand new so i have long picked them up say from godspeed the pads i'm going to be using on the back are their own godspeed kevlar pad just a fast road pad like say they've already been used need to clean up the rears um to do the conversion you use the same caliper that's on the car you just use the st170 um brackety thing and fluid i'm going to be using also from godspeed is the carbon lorraine racing brake fluid that's a dot four and the temperature on that let me find the boiling points for you right so it's got a dry boiling point of 327 or 621 and a wet of 202 or 396 fahrenheit so hopefully that'll be good enough to me uh, for me so the main thing is to do these calipers on the front you need a conversion bracket system so these are the brackets we're going to be using and this full kit comes from psycho development you've got all of the bolts and everything you need to do the adaption uh, i think it's about 55 pound on the website so that's the key to this uh, kit um so the first thing i'm going to do is finish off rebuilding these you see i've stripped them down i've painted them i haven't done the best job of painting but <clears throat> it is what it is uh so we're going to set about rebuilding them with all of this kit so i've just rebuilt the calipers with the new pistons the new dust boots in a um, rubber ring and the, the new slider grommets and new bleed nipples so i can't i forget the names of everything today but anyway right that's all done um we won't cover it in this video it's quite simple about to do i'm sure there's plenty of videos on youtube to show you how to rebuild the caliber and these kits i think are paid 40 pound from godspeed so if you're interested there will be a link below to all of to godspeed's website also with the discs um they'll pretty much jayhawk any disc you can even take in your own discs and they'll do it so if it's not on the website give them a call and do it right next thing now is swap the cars over and make a start on fitting them right so the car is in weather's all over the place today i know you commented in the last video we had some sunshine well it's been raining all morning and before that we had about an inch of snow but what i'm going to do first job is get out as much of this fluid from you as i can so i've got this little doozy thing don't even turkey baster don't know what the other's called but anyway we'll suck out as much of that as we can So I think you get the idea. I'll finish that off without you looking. Right, so looking in there, now I've taken the wheel arch off. Sorry, the wheel arch liner. Um, that's because we're going to be running some brake ducting from down there, and it gives me better access. But for now, we're going to take the caliper off and let me just put this light somewhere. Right. Ah. Stupid car. Right. So, we're going to disconnect the brake line up here uh, and bolt there. Then for the caliper, there's two main bolts behind one here 
button down the bottom and then we'll remove the whole lot in one go right to undo the brake line there i always use these crow's feet um socket type thingies um just to take slacken off get the tension off it if you go at that straight away with a spanner you will always always round it unless you're really lucky so he's got a much better surface so you can get spanners like that but these are what i've got right with the calipers and discs off now i've been spending a bit of time trying to sort out this brake duct in and it's always tricky where to put them the um, dust shield is gone because obviously that's not going to fit now because the bigger discs but i did try putting the hose round here it would have been a perfect location but once you route it around the back here there's too much movement in the suspension here obviously we got all the caliber taking up this space so we're only left with down here um so it's only going to fire on the the disc part here really not so much will go into the in the veins on the inside like behind the disc you've got the cooling veins if you can get it in there it'll go through and it'll be perfect but this is the best i can do and what i've got at the, the end of the pipe is some little trump bats these were from throttle bodies when i had my st170 they were a set that i changed and that comes out then and the uh, comes out under there you can see so we've got these slots at the bottom and they are designed for brake cooling but there's no sort of attachment to attach any pipe to so i've just got that resting behind but that should be pretty good to be honest with you so now has come the time to put them on brakes let me show you the difference so these are 280 standard ones i line them up in the bottom so you can see we're much bigger uh, and it's a nice cheap upgrade as well especially as i had all the brakes already i haven't had to spend too much money on it really right next is the conversion brackets right so that is it the brackets are all on you see how it goes i bring you in there you see where the spacer goes you can see how it bolts to the top and how it bolts to the bottom right ready now get the caliper and the pads right for the last few hours progress ground to a stop so what i'm going to say straight away is this kit is not intended for st170 conversion only use it for a monday or calipers reason being <clears throat> i've sorted in now the best i can but you get a lot of pad overlap just trying to sort the light so the pads were actually sitting up like this uh both of them which uh just wouldn't have worked out for me so i've had to do some reshaping here uh i spoke to a brake specialist and he said i could take a little bit off so that's what i've done and that is the absolute best i can do so it's not a perfect situation ideally what we really need is 310 mil discs um we have been searching uh i spoke to godspeed i'll probably speak to him again but we can't really find anything just quickly off the shelf that's going to fit so i don't know what the future is going to mean for this brake conversion do i want to be shaving the pad ends every time i have to do a change no not really i need to get it ready for dawn and done which is on tuesday today is now friday i got a busy weekend of the wedding so it has to, sorry today's actually thursday so i have to get them finished and that's the option i had to go for so there you are i think what i'm going to do now is while we go this side i'm going to get the second set of pads and start grinding them ready i'll make sure they fit here this side before i take the other side off and then we'll just rinse and repeat Right, because these pads now have been ground down there i know a few of you are going to be thinking well the pads can now float up and down so i've tweaked the bracket here so when it's in the piston it'll keep the pad pushed down and when we come to do this we'll do if it's needed we'll do something with tweaking this ring to keep uh, the pad pushed down as well right so the spring is on and that's nicely sitting there it's going to keep that pad in place right so that's it the braid is open 
upgraded hoses on also because it's obviously not intended for this car it won't bolt to its original location so a cable tie should keep that out of the way right so it's now the next day um i've had a sleep on this and i gotta be honest i'm not happy uh i know what most of you are going to be thinking it's not ideal and it's not so what i'm going to do i'm going to fit the other side because i have to i have to get the car up and running um i'm going to test drive it see what it's like i won't be doing the back brakes i'm going to abandon that now um so i need to get a solution on this front so what i'm looking to do is go for the brembo conversion from a megan clio rs so if i can find the brackets which i'm speaking to someone then that's the conversion we're going to be going for in the future but for now this future this is dead in the water so like i say i need to get the other side done and then i won't show that cause it's the same i'll set the camera back on and we'll see what it's like when it drives right that is it they're all done both on bled them um, test drove and i gotta be honest it's driving perfect the I knew they were sharp because I had them before. The S3000 pads are really good. I mean, you can lock lock the wheels up 60 mile an hour with ease, and and it's doing that now, bringing the ABS in, and you don't even have to push a pedal that hard. So it's just a shame because they look nice, and it's a nice cheap upgrade. But it's just a shame it's not a compatible type of conversion kit with the ST170. So. I will sum this up by saying it's been a disappointing one, but it's been a learning one and hopefully I've saved you from making the same mistake as what I have. But thank you very much for watching, you've been a beautiful audience. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Right, so we're adding the torque on the plant and we have a real big problem with these brakes so they've got to come off. What's happening is, first test drive, seemed okay, drove it for the weekend and it's bad. There's, um, oh, excuse me, excuse me. There's uh, a lot of noise coming from a lot of clunking. The pads seem like they are staying in position and not moving around too much. But there's the squeal, which I expect, that's fine. But there's uh, like a resonating, vibrating. The pads are obviously moving too much and it's, it's horrendous. So they've got to come back off and i'm gonna swap it all back to the standard calipers godspeed have saved the day and i've got ds 2500 so that's what i'm gonna do so next video you'll see me at donington these won't be on there standard brakes be back on with the ferrodo pad so this finally is the end of the video thanks for watching